Yeah, but you don't want to be in love and not, have a man. And not right now. No, I just have friends. Before Rich Homie Kwan took over the radio with his track Flex. Before he was nominated at the BET Hip Hop Awards in a string of categories including Rookie of the Year and Best Mixtape. Before there was speculation about him being Bay or Hubby with Young Thug, which would raise a few eyebrows. Hey, everybody it. know I'm not gay. Growing up, young Lamar was painfully shy. He split his time living with his mother, his father, and his grandmother. He also loved reading. He still does today, but his interest was in baseball and he thought he was going to have a career playing professionally. That was until he found his passion for making music. A career that almost didn't happen when he got arrested and sent away for 15 months in prison on burglary charges. My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life of rich homie Quan prior to fame, here for you and before they were famous. And as always, be sure to let me know who you want me to document next in the comments down below. Rich Homie Quan was born Lamar DeQuantis on October 4th, 1989 in Atlanta, Georgia. The oldest of three kids, Lamar and his siblings would bounce around between his separated parents' homes from Decatur to Gresham to College Park. Lamar was a mega fan of literature. His favorite author is James Patterson, but Lamar didn't spend his entire youth with his nose in a book. He also would play sports outside. He took a particular interest in baseball. He was also extremely interested in music, with his early favorites being Hot Boys, JT Money, and Lil Wayne's The Block. Is hot. He remembers listening to that album and realizing Lil Wayne was only 15 and he figured, huh, maybe I could do this. I just gotta get the brains like him. That's what he said. He wasn't listening to just rap, he also liked the blues and became a big fan of The Temptations. He started making music on his own when he was in the 11th grade, but he didn't take it very serious. He didn't think it was gonna be anything more than a hobby. He attended Atlanta, Georgia's Ronald McNair Senior High School and had aspirations to play baseball professionally. As center fielder and leadoff hitter, Quan began playing at the varsity level during his freshman year and earned a scholarship offer from Fort Valley State University. By now, his friends had already taken to calling him Quan. That was his nickname. As for the rich part, well, he's always felt that he was rich in spirit, even though, you know, growing up in his mom's house, he didn't have a whole lot of money. As for his baseball career, well, something had lit inside him. He was no longer interested in becoming an athlete. He wanted to make music. He wanted to become a rapper. Dedicating countless hours in the studio, Quan began churning out street hit after hit, which eventually resulted in the 2008 smash stay down. To tie himself over for money, he got himself a job at the airport, but this didn't last long. From there, he turned to a life of crime, and he got arrested for burglary, which resulted in 15 months behind bars. While locked up, he evaluated his life, and knew rapping was his shot to make something of himself. He passed the time writing, also realized that he would have to shed away his shyness. When he got out of prison, he went balls to the wall. He met up with a new friend and mentor known as TZ, and this guy provided Quan with studio space. From there, he would work day and night. The Kid Cudi reference, that was by accident. Sorry. <clears throat> in a sad turn of events, his friend, his mentor TZ, passed away. This would result in a few hang-ups for rich homie Quan, but by 2012, he was ready to drop some big music. He had signed to Atlanta-based independent label TIG, which stands for Think It's a Game, and released his critically acclaimed mixtape Still Going In, which he followed up with the re-release Reloaded, and that too was a home run. And he thought he was done with baseball. And the rest of the story, well, you know the story. This is Before They're Famous. My name is Michael Crud. Thanks for checking out my personal channel. I do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. You guys requested Rich Homie Quan a whole bunch. So I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below who's next. Also, be sure to browse around. I've done all sorts of celebrities. I've done internet stars. I've done porn stars, rappers, comedians. Um, yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next video.